Hello everyone. I'm here with a new tool that I couldn't keep the pizza uh, holder box little table thing that keeps the pizza in the box without the box lid hitting the top of the pizza. You know what that little dude is. Well, this came off a breathing machine, a nebulizer machine. You have to change them out every month, every other month. And when I took it apart, I looked and I thought, hmm, maybe I can use this to hold up. And it's circular, see? It's a circle. And this stem, and this came from a jewelry cleaning tool, fits right in there. And then it sits on the canvas. Now you see where I burnt it, trying to get it this way. But maybe I can pour, since there's no lip, I can pour around that. I might even put a piece of tape there to make a lip. But that's my next, that's what my project is going to be this time. I wanted to show these guys. These are beads you can get at Dollar Tree. I think you get like a hundred in a bag for a dollar. You can smash them, which I did with this one. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see where it's been smashed at least once? Well, you put these things between uh, cloth and smash them with a hammer, and you've got really nice crystals for a geode project. But what I use them for is to put in my paints. I use at least one in each condiment, bottle and it helps me shake up my paint and I don't have to use a whole lot of bubble, bubble bubbles in it I don't know if you can hear it but they're pretty loud see that one's it I think the white's got two of them in there but they mix up your paint Quick and fast. Okay. This poor old palette knife, it's seen me through over 50 years of painting and oils. It's going to go back into my oils because. Look here. An assortment of five. They normally sell for seven dollars. Studio 21. I got them for a dollar ninety-eight. What a deal. So they are now my palette knives. What I'm using for this pour is pewter gray, apple barrel, apple barrel black, and apple barrel white. Okay, they're already mixed up with my Floetron mixture of one part paint, two parts Floetron glue all mixture, and I have that in my description, and a little bit of water. I I don't buy distilled or purified water. They put enough bleach in the water here in Cleveland. 
This is the silicones and dimethicones I use. This is pure silicone. It comes from Walmart. This really smells. You have to take it outside and pour, spray it into something and then let the fumes dissipate. And of course, because it comes out of an aerosol can, you're going to get air. So pour, spray more into your uh, cup and make it a deep cup than what you're wanting to fill up one of your little bottles because when the smell goes away you're not going to have all that much coconut milk anti-breakage serum dimethicone I use this more than than anything I really like it and I can get it for three dollars a bottle at CVS if you shop there uh, or get your prescriptions there. Uh, every once in a while you get a $5 coupon for anything off in the store. And I run right over there to my uh, hair products. And I get one. I'm one ahead. One to two drops per three ounce cup of paint. And here's another one. Now this one's nice too. You get... A little bit for a lot of money. I would only use one of this. This is Dimethicone. It's true feel. Dimethicone. You don't get a whole lot, but you don't need a whole lot. Okay. I'll be right back. And try this, uh new situation and like I said I may tape that okay okay I'm back <clears throat> I wanted to show you the liquid text that I use gloss varnish and I got a really good deal I got 40 percent off and then I got another 25% off. I paid around $6 for this same 16 ounce. I know it says 473 meter, but it's 16 ounce. Okay, I wanted to show you the skins I had made days ago, and they just came out awesome. There was gold, and the only gold showed up right in there. A few little places in there, but, and there's some gold right in here. But all in all, this is going to be an awesome piece for jewelry. This one also, I made it the day before. Some of the same colors, but I, I, I used different ones. And there's blue metallic in there. Remember, before you make your skins, always clean this off. I use a window cleaner. See, this is ready to come off. It's been it's been sitting that long. You might find something on the back side you really like. I never do. Wanted to share that with you. Something else I want to share. These are samples that you get from uh, Home Depot. I would assume Lowe's does too. The floor tiling, floor plank vinyl. And you can do skins on these. You can make coasters out of them. But if you've got to seal them, 
I'll show you why. Even though you put varnish on top, if you don't resin it, this is rough under uh, with gloves on. You just take a corner. It's, it's not quite so easy with gloves. And I cut my fingernails. Well, I was going to show you how easy it is to pull off of here. But I can't because I've got the gloves on. I can't grip it with the gloves. But it'll come off in one sheet. Well, I guess I won't be showing you that one. Let me see if this one will work better. Let me see if I can do it with this. Here it comes. Well, I thought. Maybe you don't want to varnish it. Yeah, I'm peeling part of the uh, planking itself off. There we go. See how easy that is? See, if you take your time, it'll come off a lot easier, and then you can start all over again. Yeah, I was pulling the planking. But even with varnish on there, you can pull that skin off. Okay. Now that I've got a mess, like I said earlier, part of my breathing machine mouthpiece, the medicine goes in there, but it was just lucky. Now, instead of using this kind of tape, you might want to use scotch tape. But I'm going to give it a try. I'm only going to use three colors. Black, white, and gray. Apple barrel. I showed them to you before. I want to put some silicone into this white.
I'm getting to the very end of my flow trawl. And of course there's our critters. I've got to clean the white. Because these do not have silicone in them, I'm going to put silicone in. Not silicone, dimethicone. This is True Feel KY. Putting a little more in than uh, in the white. I've got to take the lid off the white. I've got to clean it. Now this white doesn't have silicone in it. This doesn't have silicone, but you sure, or dimethicone, I'm sorry, but you don't really need a whole lot of it. Okay. Let's see what we get here. This is the black that has the dimethicone in it.
Now I'm going to be running this over the edges. So it doesn't matter that uh, I've got colors that dripped or a contaminated knife, palette knife, because I believe I have just the right amount of paint to uh, take care of them very edges. I think what I'm going to do is just pull this into the middle with my knife. Now, I'm sorry, I took that out of the frame. I've got plenty of paint. So, I'm going to pull it over the edges now. Pull it to the middle. Just help it a little bit. I'm going to pull it back to the middle. And push it to this side. Okay, back to the middle and one more side.
Okay. Now I'm going to push it back to try to even out some of this black. It's not moving as fast as it was. I'm just trying to add some more paint so that it moves. Okay. Didn't turn out what I expected, but how many paintings turn out like the way you want them? I'm going to take a straw <coughs> and I'm going to blow some of these lines. I think I'm going to uh, do the uh, torch first. I don't need cells on the uh, edges, so I'm not going to be doing any torching there. Okay, now I'm going to do some blowing. See if I can 
enlarge these cells because there's lots of cells but they're small cells I got me a uh, skewer. I busted it. little too small. Let's try the old chopstick. Th yeah, that's working a lot better. The best way to do this is kind of go along with your pattern. I really like these wispy things coming off. Now, that kind of looks like a flower. But I'm going to run it through. Okay, well, I think that's about it. I'm going to bring it up for a close-up. You can see all the cells. A couple of areas that I'm going to see if I can pull some cells up with the torch even though I only used three colors. I've got different colors of black, white, and gray. So thank you all. Camera's coming through.
Here's some canvas coming through also. Okay, I think that's all the canvas I see. No, I see a piece over here. Okay, I'm going to pull the paint so it doesn't keep going over. Because what it'll do is it'll, it'll pull the paint. If it keeps moving. Anyway. All my sides look good. Even though I can't see this side. Gotta be careful when you're uh, scraping the sides. I see canvas. And that looks to be like that's about it. Thank you all for joining me. If you have any comments, let me know. But this is the first time I've ever done a black and white and various shades of gray. I see it. I see a spot. Okay. Thank you so much for joining.